What is up Genshin community? I got something a bit different for you today. This is going to be the start of a new series where I put out beta build guides based on early information we're getting from players who are testing within the beta. Please keep in mind this is all based on very early testing and is subject to change. I'll be releasing a full guide with information on rotations and how to play when the character is released. So keep an eye out for that and subscribe now so you don't miss any of those changes we find with further testing and don't forget to like this video. Welcome to Sino's beta guide. Sino is a brand new 5 star unit coming to Genshin Impact in 3.1 who uses Electro and wields a polearm. Sino is a main DPS that will most likely utilize the Aggravate and Electro Charge reaction to deal devastating damage on the battlefield. Please note this video will not contain leaked gameplay footage to hopefully avoid Hoyo vs Hammer. When it comes to abilities, Sino's burst is where all the damage lies, providing Electro Infusion and bonus Elemental Mastery. Sino's skill also deals increased AoE damage in his burst mode and increases the duration of it. You should level up your burst ability first and then skill in priority. Although Sino is a main DPS, due to damage conversions, his normal attack is not worth investing into unless you want to triple crown him. Sino's best weapon by far is the new Staff of Scarlet Sands, providing not only a ton of crit rate, but a passive that converts your elemental mastery into attack. This is an amazing weapon for Sino, as one of his main issues is trying to balance out so many stats. He needs critical hit rate and damage and attack and elemental mastery and even a bit of energy recharge. This signature weapon gives you a great amount of stats innately and then lets you focus on elemental mastery while reaping the rewards of even more attack. I highly recommend picking it up if you have the chance and the weapon banner isn't too awful. Primordial though provides a ton of base damage making it a great option and White Tassel at R5 is able to outcompete some 4 star options like Katan and Deathmatch. His artifacts give you a lot of flexibility with most likely his best option being the new set Gilded Dreams followed closely behind by Gladiators, Thundering Fury, and Thunder Soother. In terms of stats, Sans will be Elemental Mastery or Attack. This should be based off of like the team you're taking or other bonus you may be getting from elsewhere. If you find you have a high amount of Elemental Mastery, it may be wise to take Attack Percent here to balance out the stats. Electro Damage Goblet and Critical Hit Rate or Damage Circlet though, like always. Please note you do need a bit of Energy Recharge on Sino, but a few pieces with one or two rolls into Energy Recharge should be enough, especially if you run him with an Electro Battery like Fischl. Constellations for Sino are a bit varied. His C2 is definitely his best providing a stacking crit rate and crit damage bonus as he attacks, making his damage scale even higher and building him even easier. I would only recommend going for constellations for late game players who really like the character and have a ton of funds to do so. In terms of team comps, while still early, I feel like looking at Fischl currently in the meta can give us an idea of what to expect. Hyper Bloom has been shown to provide an amazing amount of damage, so taking Fischl as a battery, Dendro Traveler as a reaction setup and elemental mastery buffer, and Kokomi as our hydro applicator and healer seems like a great option. Aggravate has also been seen to be just as strong. In this case, I took Sucrose to provide Elemental Mastery as well as Shred Resistance against Electro, Kuku Shinobu for battery potential and healing, and Dendro Traveler for again our Dendro reactions and even more Elemental Mastery. Finally, with Thundering Fury being an option, Taser Comps could also be a valuable option for Sino as well. Battery Fischl, Shred Kazua, and Healer Hydro Applicator Kokomi should get the job done. That wraps up our entire beta guide on Sino. Get pre-farming, but please keep in mind this is all subject to change. For a full updated guide, wait for release of 3.1 and check out our Discord, which is linked in the bio, where the finalized guides will be posted. Link to down below is actually a Twitter link, which will give you an image to this guide that you can download so you can view on your own time. If you have any questions at all, though, feel free to come hang out with me on Twitch to ask. If you like this new series, let me know with a like, subscribe, and comment, of course, and I will hopefully see you in the next one if Hoyover allows it.